Guten Tag alle, Herr Wallace here. Today I want to talk to you about conjunctions in German and specifically uh, coordinating and subordinating conjunctions. Conjunctions play an important role in German word order. When it comes to the, how they affect uh, word order, they can be grouped into basically two categories. Each category has a different effect on word order. The coordinating conjunctions like aber, oder, sondern, und, and den do not affect the word order. So aber is but, und, and, oder, or, den, because, not to be confused with dann, which is than, und sondern, but rather. Okay, the coordinating conjunctions connect two clauses and they don't affect the word order of either clause. So for example, uh, ich mag Äpfel und Rosinen. So I like apples and raisins. Ich kann mit dir gehen, aber ich muss zuerst meine Hausaufgabe machen. So what you're going to notice is the verb, which I put in blue here, muss, stays right next to the subject ich in the second clause. This is going to change when we start talking about subordinating conjunctions. And then finally, Du kannst mit uns spielen oder du kannst mit ihnen spielen. So you can play with us or you can play with them. And the verb is still the second idea in the clause following a coordinating conjunction. Subordinating conjunctions, uh, there are many more of these. So this is a fairly comprehensive list and I'll just go down here. Uh, weil, das, obwohl, damit, als ob, ob, wenn, als, als wenn, bevor, bis, er, falls, in dem, nachdem, seitdem, sobald, so lange, so das, so oft, so viel, so weit, während, warum, was, wo, Woher, wohin, wie, wie oft, wie viel, wie lange, weshalb. One thing to note is that uh, if they start a sentence, they will be capitalized. And basically all question words can more or less be used as subordinating conjunctions. Okay, so subordinating conjunctions connect subordinating clauses with a main clause. Unlike coordinating conjunctions, they do affect the word order of the sentence and send the verb to the end of the clause in the second or following the conjunction. So they are often also introduced by commas. Ich kann nicht gehen, weil ich meine Hausaufgabe machen muss. So because we are using a subordinating conjunction, uh, it's often set off, first of all, by a comma, and then the verb, which was next to ich, the subject, went to the very end of the second clause. So the normal word order for that sentence is ich muss meine Hausaufgabe machen, but because it's following the subordinating conjunction via, the verb moves to the end. Um, some people talk of this as verb kickers because they kick the verb to the end. Okay. Uh, one thing you also need to know is jedoch, also, and trotzdem. These conjunctions attract the verb, meaning that when they are used as conjunctions, the verb will still be directly after them. So that's sort of unusual. Ich bin schon müde, trotzdem gehe ich mit dir, instead of trotzdem ich mit dir gehe, which would be a normal subordinating conjunction. Ich habe kein Geld, jedoch fliege ich nach Deutschland. Wir haben eine gute Mannschaft, also wir werden wir gewinnen. Okay, vielen Dank für das Zuschauen. Tschüss.